back to this channel. My name is Wolo. I love to share useful information about Canada. I might expand to different parts of the world someday. So if you see me one day in Australia or New Zealand, just know that I have started saying that I might, I might expand to start including different parts of the world on how to immigrate to different parts of the world. But for now, because I still reside in Canada, I have to talk about Canada. So I share useful information about life in Canada, immigrating and anything that's going to be beneficial to anybody, anything generally happening in Canada, I share that information so that people are aware and they can make an informed decision. And I want to say thank you to every one of my subscribers for all the love you've shown me so far. Yeah, thank you so much. And if you're new, welcome to the family of sharing useful information. Anyway, <laughs> don't mind me, I like to goof around when I do videos. Today's video is an update about one of the communities that has been chosen for the rural and northern immigration pilot. And that community is actually Vernon in British Columbia. And Vernon, they are trying to be very, very difficult for people. They don't, I don't know why they put so many things. Anyway, I will show you on their website what you should do. Um, they've started, um, publishing job opportunities for people to apply from outside of Canada, but there are stringent requirements for a community recommendation. They have um, requirements such as um, having a property in Vernon, uh, visiting Vernon, you know, have all those requirements that gives points for a community recommendation. So it makes it more difficult for people outside of Canada to actually apply for job opportunities in these areas. But that's notwithstanding, if you know anybody who must have lived in these areas and who still wants to try his or her luck in Vernon, the person can go ahead and um, watch this video. You can share the video with this person, but from all indications, it's like um, it's only for people who are actually in that locality uh, who do not have a permanent resident status. So they just want to regularize their stay by, you know, giving them community recommendation to apply for PR through the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. So one quick fact about Vernon is that the population is about 48,000 and the industries there uh, is actually agriculture, agricultural tourism, manufacturing, a very small sector is into manufacturing and also technology. There is a growing industry for technology in that area as well. So I will show you on the website and you can create a profile and just apply. And if you happen to get a community recommendation, I'll also show you what to do. This is the website of Vernon for the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, which is www.vernon.ca. If you scroll down, you click on this rnip-vernon.ca. It will take you directly to the page um, for the rural and northern immigration pilot and then you click on information for applicants this is very important because this is where you get all details and know if you actually meet the eligibility requirement and then click on the number two part which says ensure that you meet the community-based criteria if you click on it it will take you to where you will find details about comprehensive ranking system for Vernon and if it will be possible for you to get a community recommendation. So these are the areas they give points in. They give points in language, they give points in family in the community, they give points to people who have traveled to the community before and they give points to people who have properties in the community they also give point to people who have work and study in the community if your spouse's occupation falls under any of these occupations listed here you also get a point for it and then you get a point for work experience you get a point for the age applicant's age and then the wage you also get points for the job offer you get if your job offer is 25 dollars per hour and above you get more points and if you also have a driver's license in that community, you also get points. So apparently, it's even making it more difficult for external applicants outside of Canada to even apply to this community. For the job postings, you click on this website 
and these are the jobs that have been advertised for the Vernon Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. So they have case manager, customized employment advisor, carpenter, apprentice, registered veterinary technologist. Just four jobs that are currently advertised for Vernon. Details about the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot can be found on this web page. I will be leaving the link on the description box of this video and you'll find more information about the pilot and the eligibility requirements. You must check that you meet both the eligibility requirements, that's the IRCC eligibility requirement, and they are the language requirement, the credential evaluation, and the proof of funds. These are the three requirements for IRCC. You must write IELTS, you must also evaluate your credentials and you must have the proof of funds for this pathway. Then the second requirement is the community specific requirement, which is searching for a job and then getting a community recommendation. So as I've mentioned earlier, if you have all these requirements, you can go ahead and apply for jobs in that community. And if you are lucky to get a job, and you're also lucky to get a community recommendation then this is the next step to take to complete the whole process you click on apply for permanent residence once you do that it will take you to the page where you'll find information about all the forms you need to fill to submit your application for permanent residence it is important to go through the instruction guide it will help you understand what you need as part of your documentation and you also be required to fill this document checklist as well the employer who is employing you must complete this form offer of employment to a foreign national it is important that the employer completes this form as well and then you as the applicant you must complete all these forms listed here they are necessary and one of them has a barcode you must generate a barcode from one of the forms which is the imm008 once you complete the form make sure you validate it so that it generates a barcode and once you're done you pay the fees online and submit your application by paper so everything you're doing is on paper not online you just have to print out all your documents ensure that they are complete and send them to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program, Centralized Intake Office um, in Nova Scotia. And then once you're done with your PR application on the RNIP, you can also apply for a work permit if you are outside of Canada. This is where you find details of how you can apply for work permit. So you can be in Canada working on that work permit while your permanent residence application process is ongoing thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye